Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front-end development. In today's video, you will learn how to resolve simple merge conflicts in Git. But before we do that, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss all the other Git tutorials. To be able to merge two branches together, we will firstly create two branches, we'll make two changes in each of them and then we see where the conflicts appear and how to resolve it. Okay, so I want you to be clear of what we're working with. So for now, we have a git branch only master and now we will create two branches and we'll make two changes in each. I'll speed up through this process because it should be quite straightforward by now. We are adding two names to his branch. So the content TXT gets two names in his branch and we'll save it as his changes. And in my branch, I will add two colors and save it as a commit with the message of my colors or my changes. Now we can try to merge his branch into my branch. Let's say I'm working on a feature and your colleague is working on another feature and you want to bring his feature into yours and continue working in your branch. Okay, so we will try to merge his branch into my branch. And to do that, we simply need to check out the branch you want to merge into. So we are currently on a my branch, which is correct. And we want to merge his branch. Okay, so remember, you need to be checked out on the branch you want to merge into. And then you merge the branch of the changes you want to bring in. Okay, so if we do that, then you will definitely get a conflict because we both We've edited the lines four and five of the content TXT and then Git doesn't know how to automatically resolve this conflict because we both touch the same file in the same lines. If we touch different lines, then uh, Git could easily merge it automatically. But because we've edited the same file, same line, we are gonna get conflict. And here it is. the the famous conflict that everyone hates and uh, we, in this tutorial you will learn how to resolve it without any headaches. So we are being notified by Git that the content TXT is the issue and uh, he couldn't automatically resolve it and we need to resolve the conflict manually and commit the result. Okay, so if you freak out at this moment and decide to quit the merge, call ambulance or policemen or firefighters, whatever your approach is, then you can still revert back to merge. So abort the merge and the command is git merge abort. Okay, that will revert the merge, cancel everything and you are back where you were before merging these two branches together. So if you freak out, the abort will always get you out of trouble. Now we try to be brave and we will merge so we can go back to this and merge again and this time we'll try to resolve it. We won't be aborting, we will be resolving. Okay, so we've got a couple options here. The first one is accept the current change, which is the change in your branch or in this case my branch. Then the accept incoming change, which would only take the changes, the incoming changes, which is the John and Michael, or we can accept both which would keep the file and write all these four lines into it. Or we can compare the changes. So here is the change visually on the left. We are adding yellow white on the right side. We are adding John and Michael. So this is the two files side by side. And it's up to us how we want to resolve it. I will first accept the current change, which would bring the two colors. If I revert it, accept incoming change. John and Michael comes in, he can undo it. And if we accept both, we see all four lines written. Okay, so this is the three options you have and it's up to you how you resolve it based on your code. We will save the file with the changes we are happy with. And at that moment, we are still in the merge process. Okay, so if we look at git status, you see that we have unmerged pass, which means that this file is still not resolved. We need to mark it as resolved. And to do that, we need to use the git add and the file name. Okay, so if we go git 
add and content.txt or git add dot or period, it will do the same thing. That tells git that that file is resolved and now we can commit it. And we can simply git commit and uh, give it a clear message, merge to his branch. Now the changes are merged, git status should be happy. And git log should show us that we have the merged his branch commit successfully completed and that's how you resolve conflicts in git i know it can be frustrating when you're merging and having conflicts but only practice makes you perfect so don't be afraid to create a simple demo like this where you're changing files just few lines get familiar with the commands get familiar with how vs code marks it for you which changes is the incoming which is the current one and that's how you will become more comfortable with merging bigger changes, bigger files, bigger projects. And there is no shortcut for it. So don't be afraid. Even if you think you experience, just break it down, create a simple demo like this and practice until you are 100% comfortable. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And let me know in the comments, what would you like me to cover next? Until next time, happy coding.